everyone, it's Ashton. I was just playing guitar and I opened my eyes and I have this little card that I drew like two years ago and it's from a prayer that I learned. It says, where would you have me go? What would you have me do? What would you have me say and to whom? And so I... <laughs> You know, it's just called by the universe to turn on my camera and talk about um, forgiving your body and what that looks like. Trauma is stored in the body. There is a very um, big component of research going on right now about the mind-body connection. This is no longer this spiritual woo-woo stuff. I mean, there really is a connection between the experiences that we have, our emotions, our mind and our body our spirit you know all of that and just becoming aware of the fact that um, through this transition process even if you're not trans this is still relevant to you but um, specifically for my trans experience I mean as somebody who got um, chest surgery and if you don't want to hear about the physical aspects of surgery right now or things like that that's my kitty hi um, then that's cool you can turn this video off it may not be for you but in terms of the trauma that happens, is as beautiful as surgery was for my body and as beautiful as surgery is in you cultivating a space for the soul and cultivating a home for your, for your, you know, just to be happier in this, in this little house that you gotta walk around in, in the world. You know, surgery can be incredibly affirming, but I think it's important I think it's time now in the trans community we like acknowledge you know as somebody right now who's getting my yoga teacher certification I can talk about the fact that um, the releases and things like that that have to go on in the body and um, my cat is just having a party of one over here so yeah trauma being stored in the body and what does that look like and what does that look like in terms of surgery and I know that um, I've recently had to do a lot of active forgiving of the things that are stored in my body um, you know I, I recognize a lot of tightness in my chest I'm four years after I've had my chest surgery and there's a lot of tightness in my chest and there's a lot of um, tightness here and a lot of tightness here and um, and and honoring what that means for me on a spiritual level of you know this this heart area being very sensitive and um, you know heart chakras if you're familiar with that and and opening that and creating a space for um, you know really mindful movement to to open and and talk to my body and then forgive any any pain or tension or tightness or things that are still stored here after I've had surgery and and thinking in terms of the fact that I've um, you know learned through conditioning and society that um, hips on masculine people are not acceptable or whatever and I know that I store I mean tons of people store a lot of tension and um, trauma in their hips. That's just a huge, huge thing is that everybody, we sit a lot and so what happens is that we get a little, we get a lot of tightness in the psoas muscle right here um, that goes pretty deep down and people that have lower back pain, they think that maybe, um, oh, if I do a lot of stretches forward and stuff like that and whatever, it's gonna relieve my lower back pain. But if you have lower back pain, it's actually, this psoas muscle that's deep down in here that's really tight and it's from sitting all day and stuff like that so there there are stretches um to release that um release the psoas muscle and then a ton of trauma is is for a lot of different reasons stored in this area and that may be something to look into if you want to know more about that i can make another video leave a comment below but this is just a brief kind of overview of the fact that, um, you know, the way that we hold our body and, and things like that, the way we move through the world, um, trans people are, are taught to be really just, just head up. We're very much up here in, in, in our awareness and we, we're, we're told the narrative that we have to hate our body and totally disconnect. but. 
I really think that there is going to be benefit and less tra trauma, emotional, spiritual, physical, whatever layers um, about the difficulty of this transition if we can honor the body where it's at the whole time throughout this whole transition and forgive places of the body that we maybe hold trauma or places of the body that we're not entirely comfortable with, places of the body that um, we can witness them as they are right in this moment and still want to change them. Society tells us that we have to feel one way and that we can't hold this dual perception. The reality is the world's not black and white. We're, we're, we're intellectual beings. We can hold the fact that, yes, I want to change something about my body and I can actively forgive it for what it is right now and so I don't compound the trauma that's being stored in the body and so that when those changes happen, I can get more out of those changes <clears throat> later down the line. We really, the number one focus, I guess, of this whole video is that you're going to enjoy your transition so much more if you can honor yourself and your body at every single step of the way. Th this is just something that you, you, um, it's an, it's a practice. It's, it's an active forgiving. It's an active talking to your body to sending love to the parts of your body that you can honor them like i said where they are right now regardless of whether you want to change things and and it's just active forgiveness of where things are so that we're not storing more trauma and that we're releasing trauma in the body um so if you want to know more about you know stretches that we can do and things like that in terms of just releasing some really you know critical places that people store a lot of um you know we'll say static energy and things like that in the body let me know i'll leave a comment below um so this is kind of more the direction of the channels going we're going to be talking about the mind body connection we're going to talk about spirituality we're going to talk about that in relation to being transgender and gender and all these beautiful things and I think a lot of people are really craving a lot of the things that I'm talking about. Really, I've had so much positive outreach, positive feedback about the fact that people are craving videos that go deeper about what this journey means for us on more than just the surface level of this point A to point B linear transition of where I transitioned from female to male or male to female or whatever those really um, binary very like just these transformation um, they're so surface level when there's so much else going on so let's talk about it let's dive in I love each and every single one of you you can follow me on Instagram it's just Ash and James Colby no like sponsoring or whatever or anything but this my friend makes these shirts and i just realized i'm wearing it and i'll leave the link below if you want to grab one of these shirts that actually goes to support his top surgery this came from a yoga class and i was wearing this shirt and then now i'm like oh i'm making a video i should add to that and he just sells them on etsy so i'll leave that below and i love you stay awesome you already are awesome just stay awesome stay even more awesome every single day do whatever you gotta do in order to just continue on this um, incredible journey of unfolding that you're on, whether you're trans or not. You're beautiful just the way you are, so I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day, and let me know what you want to talk about, because I want to talk about what you want to talk about, and what you want to talk about is what I want to talk about, so let's do this. Have a good night, or day, or morning, or afternoon.